love this little door. I'm not exactly sure what it was meant to be. It's priced at $3 and it's got some nice feet to it. I think it would make a nice tray. So I love finding wood pieces that I can make really cool trays out of them. So I'm gonna grab some black paint by Waverly and I ended up just doing one coat of paint on the outside of the tray. Since this was such a dark piece, I only needed one coat. Recently when I was at Ikea, I found this rug for just a couple of dollars and I thought it'd be great to put it in the middle of this tray. I did something similar in an Ikea video. You guys may have seen it, but I thought that would work perfectly for this tray. So I just cut off the edges and then I ended up measuring out the sides, marking where I needed to cut because I wanted this rug to sit perfectly down in the middle of the tray. Once I got the rug cut out, I'm just going to hot glue it in place. So I didn't want to go out and purchase all new handles for this tray, so I was kind of rummaging around. I ended up finding these gold handles that we used last year in our RV makeover. And if you didn't know that I renovated an RV last year, if you go to my channel, type in RV, I have five videos on how we renovated the whole RV. So if you're interested in watching that. So I just marked up halfway up on the tray and then I used a Sharpie to mark and I made sure that both of the handles were going to be about six inches on either side. And then I came in with my drill. Once I did that, I realized that the bottom of the tray had some feet to it. So I had to unscrew those and take those off, but that was okay. Then I drilled holes to put my handles in and I did that for both sides of the tray. These trays are perfect to set out on a coffee table and it just gives a lot more interest to whatever decor you put on top of them. So here's a look at how the tray turned out. I'm always a sucker for like a little tin when I go to the thrift store. I just really liked the shape of it, but I definitely wanted to add to it. So what I decided to do was get some of my plaster of Paris. I bought a big container of this on Amazon. I'll link it below for you and it lasts forever. So if you get some of this, you'll definitely have it forever. I've done a ton of projects with it. So you just want to mix it with a little bit of water until you get like a paste consistency. I'm going to use gloves because I'm going to come in and actually use the gloves to put the plaster onto my container. And I want this to have a really old look. So I'm just going to be smearing the plaster around the edges. Now I'm not concerned to cover the entire piece. In fact, I still want some of the original piece to show through, but it's just going to give it a really rough look. Next, I'm going to come in and paint the piece. So I'm going to be using Waverly white chalk paint, and this is just going to be just a fun personal preference kind of piece where I'm just painting it white. I felt like it needed a little bit of black. And whenever I'm like layering colors like this, I always just kind of build as I'm going. So I'm going to add some black around the edges. I also had some gold paint that I decided to paint the handles and I wanted the handles to be kind of really prominent gold. So I used a more detailed brush to paint those gold. I did mute the gold down a little bit by mixing it with the black. And then I'm just going to add in colors until I like the way it looks. And here's how this planter turned out. So I'm always looking for organization containers. I really love this container here, this wire container. I have a great organization idea for it. So I'm gonna start by spray painting this wire container with a white matte spray paint. I'm gonna do one coat, flip it over, and then I'll do a second coat as well. 
My idea for this piece is to use it in a bathroom to store hot curling irons or a blow dryer that you don't want to put back in your cabinet and you need somewhere to store them. That's why I have this metal piece. So you can pick up command hooks off of Amazon and then simply put this wire basket on the command hooks. You can have your curling iron in there and this is a great renter friendly option. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibic DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.